Grimsby Town Centre is undergoing a £100 million regeneration programme that will create a thriving hub for everyone in the local community. In June 2024, we spoke to local residents and some of the people involved in delivering ambitious development schemes and taking practical steps to improve the safety, security and ambience of our high street. We're back here in November to see what progress has been made and get the reaction from locals and visitors to the town. We're from Pontefract, love Grimsby, love the area. Yeah, it's got lots of history with it. Safer Streets 5, an initiative by North East Lincolnshire Council and its partners, aims to reduce crime and antisocial behaviour in the town centre, creating a more welcoming place for both locals and visitors to the town. Since its inception in March 2024, teams from Humberside Police and Enforcement Officers have arrested 13 people and issued 46 fixed penalty notices for breaching public space protection orders. High Street Ambassadors have engaged with almost 3,000 people and supported in over 150 incidents. The latest crime figures show that theft has been reduced by 8% and robbery by 43%. St James Square alone has seen alcohol-related antisocial behaviour drop by a massive 88% and an overall reduction in the town centre of 35%. Over the past 12 months, overall crime in Grimsby Town Centre has reduced by more than 11%. There's a real dedication of the partnership in relation to removing that crime and disorder from our town centre, from the high street. I put it down to extremely tight partnership working. We did start off in March and April with a number of visible tents within the high street, certainly the top end by St James Square and the Bull Ring. We're not seeing those anymore. And we're not just, just dispersing them, we're actually signposting them to specialist support so they get that treatment they need moving forwards. In relation to the rough sleepers, my team are dedicated to uh, coming on early and working with the rough sleeper coordinators to be on the ground at seven o'clock in the morning to understand who's on the area and who's rough sleeping and needs that education and sort of rehabilitation with our partners. Humberside Police work very, very closely with North East Lynch Council on a number of different aspects. Um, the police not only do the days of action, supporting the WISE officers and the civil enforcement officers, but daily the local policing team are putting patrols out, high-vis, looking at uh, offending and re-offending and making sure our streets are safe. This operation is not all police-led and Safer Streets 5 is very much working in partnership with everyone. As much as we're dedicated to the town centre, it's working with partners such as our retailers. I do believe the activity that's been undertaken by ourselves and partners and the 2025 group is making town centre feel safer. There's been um, a lot less um, issues within St James Square. Um, I think a few people worried that we would have issues in the New Riverhead Square, but that's not happened because of the public space order. Um, so it's been a really quiet and calm summer. <laughs> Thanks to the regeneration of the Grimsby Town Centre, we've been able to have some great events this year, from the Soundscape, Maker's Market, the Great Grimsby Green Fair, Festival of the Sea, the Grimsby and Clee Eats Food Festival, Havelock's Kingdom and Parade, Edible Grimsby, the Halloween Pumpkin Trail, and even a shop window competition. We've got all sorts going on. The space has been transformed. It's such a lively, vibrant space, but it really lends itself to this type of event. We've just had a, an event on the 19th of November at the Town Hall. That was the premiere of our short Feel Good film. Um, it's uh, had lots of local celebrities um, take part in that film and lots of other community members. It was a great night and went really well. So be part of the positive. Your town, your choice, your community, your voice. Safer Streets Ambassadors, High Vis Tabarded uh, SIA trained staff, and they're out there on a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening between four o'clock and one o'clock in the morning, and they're to assist the nighttime economy in the street scene. And they're making sure that the people that come into our town centres are safe, supported, and go home in a, in a safe and supportive manner. We spent £2.25 million upgrading our CCTV capability. As part of that, one of the bolt-ons was the, the capability that we have of a tannoy system. People are taking notice of the tannoys. They, they are walking their bikes rather than, uh, than riding them. And my message is quite clear that if you breach the public space protection order, you will be issued a fixed penalty. 
CCTV has been brilliant in, in coordinating that. We've got more cameras than ever on, on the town centre. Our operators have full manipulation, full control of all of our cameras. Anything we see on cameras, any live incidents that we see, we can patch through to the Melton Police Station. So work with colleagues and partners uh, from our own security team through to our civil enforcement team. We support Umberside Police daily. It's made a huge difference to the town centre. A recent success was a male at 10 to 7. A CCTV had picked him up. He's committing graffiti within the town centre. The response officer was there within five minutes, detained the male. The male was charged for the offences. I don't think you can get much better than that. I do see a big difference and hopefully members of the public do as well. We now have two marshals, five hours a day, five days a week over a seven day rolling period to enforce the issue and also work with our other colleagues in relation to trying to stamp out cycling within the town centre. There's a real dedication of the partnership in relation to removing that crime and disorder from the high street. Really important to evolve our community. We want character and vibrancy and life here. So working holistically with uh, Little Coach Primary School in relation to two separate classes, one looking at growing plants and the other one looking at designing signs for our town centre. We have a group of children that stay behind after school. They're creating the messaging and the artworks. Alongside that, we have a group of children that are going to be working with Grimsby and Bloom to create the planting scheme. Yeah! Grimsby and Bloom are helping to regenerate Victoria Street by um, putting in plants and in these big planters, in hanging baskets, and we're just hoping that make it really, really colourful and somewhere for people to think, wow, that looks nice. It's things that are going to be impactful, colourful. We'll change the plants out so they're seasonal, so we have that wow factor all year round. Yeah, and we're also having living walls. And in there, there'll be more like succulent and cacti and those sort of things. It's growing and finally seeing Victoria Street as a green space instead of just a concrete space. So Groomsby and Bloom are really proud to be part of the regeneration of Victoria Street. It's going to look stunning. It's going to look beautiful. It's going to look amazing. The regeneration of Grimsby Town Centre is very important. I think it'll be a very exciting time for the hotel. So I know the potential of the town centre, the regeneration to be fully complete, I think is going to be the most exciting, not just for our hotel, but for the whole of Grimsby. It's just nice to see how the whole area around here has completely changed. St James Square is such a beautiful part of Grimsby Town Centre. When I think about E-Factor and what it needs to do to support this town, being in the heart of the town centre, in a place like St James Square, it's, it's a natural fit for us. We knew that this could be an opportunity. We need property to house local businesses, and we also need to be able to do something about bringing the town back up onto its feet. The arches that sit underneath it are going to be used as units. The first floor will be the new home for the Business Hive. That will be a fantastic celebration, again, of that club and the community it represents. On the second floor, we've got around about 20 offices for local businesses on easy in, easy out terms. The roof is going to be Grimsby's first roof garden. All in all, it makes it a building that people will look at and go, wow, that's in Grimsby, I'm really proud of that. This particular project that we're here to celebrate today is massively important to our children and our young people and it's about enabling them to have an opportunity to make this the best environment for them to grow up into but to be the best adults that they can be and really owning their space and being proud of North East Lincolnshire. I worked with the young people over every half term and throughout the summer holidays and to help them produce these fantastic pieces that you see here today. I'm so proud of them. These young people, they're, they're so incredible. They are so incredible, so inspirational. They've got amazing ideas. Their family should be proud of them. Their friends should be proud of them. It was a long project. These young people have worked so hard. Just adding a pop of colour, that pop of creativity is, is so important and, and it helps us bring spaces to life. The New Horizon Youth Zone, we are all very excited about this coming to fruition. A multi-million pound investment putting children and young people at the heart of North East Lincolnshire. Young people will be able to access film and TV, arts and crafts, sports, a fully kitted out gym, 
employability, entrepreneurship, general recreation area, to make friends, raise their ambitions, increase opportunities and show the young people of Grimsby and North East Lincolnshire that nothing is off the table and they can achieve anything that they set their mind to. The Horizon Youth Zone, uh, when it's completed, it will be a real benefit for uh, local young people of all ages. So youth voice is very, very important and they've had input into the types of activities, the young people that chose the name Horizon, the young people that will support us as we move towards opening. So youth voice needs to continue throughout the whole project. The town centre has gone under a massive amount of regeneration over the last year, 18 months. We're now seeing places like Riverhead Square open where we can have events on there throughout the summer, throughout the winter. You know, the Christmas tree, the lights turning on, that market feeling within the town centre. It's great that you know the regeneration projects going along in the area, and this square has been developed. And one of the key things around that was that could, to hold more events here. That we, we should, should use a lot more and utilise, and by doing that, then everybody can have a really good time. The regeneration that's going on is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely marvellous. Grimsby is a very different atmosphere. It's lovely. You know, Grimsby has got a lot going for it. We are on a really good journey and we want to bring everybody along with us. So, some tangible and exciting progress, but still lots to do. We'll be back in February to see how Freshly Place is faring and explore the nighttime economy. Cheers!